Namaste guys, Ashish here for Namaste Tech and in this video I am going to talk about a very useful feature which is coming in MIUI 8.0. The beta is already available and you should take a look at our video on how to install it if you cannot wait for the final version. So the feature I am going to talk about is called a second space. It's like a second phone on the same phone and it can have its own apps, you can have your Google account created there if you want to have a personal profile and a business profile but on the same phone you can do that so we'll start with looking at it from how to set it up now before we go ahead and create a second space we'll take a look at the space that is available right now on the phone so it will give you a clear idea on how much space the second space is going to take so let's wait for it so like you can see you have 7.22 gb of space available We'll take a look back after creating the second space. So we'll go ahead, go to settings and search for second space. So I'm going to type second, tap on this and now tap on turn on second space. So it goes kind of, you know, a soft reboot. The phone doesn't reboot, but the whole system will reboot. You can see here. This thing gets into a reboot kind of mode. Now the speed will depend definitely on the kind of phone you have. So on Redmi Note 3, it could be a little faster, but when it comes to Mi 4i, which is a slow chipset, it could be a little slow. But since it is in beta, we expect this to get sorted in the final update. All right, so things have been sorted and it took a little bit of time on this phone, at least Mi 4i, but we have the second space ready. Now, before we go there, we'll just check on the space. So you can see now we have 7.07 GB. So I guess around 0.15 GB was taken away around 150 MB that was used up for creating the storage space. Of course, it will expand with time. And we also have a section called a second space, which it treats as other users. So you can see it's like 147 MB. And if I tap on this, well, of course, nothing happens. So now we'll go and go to second space. So there's one new thing that shows up is called a switch. This basically allows you to switch to the second space. So I'm going to tap on switch. So when you come here for the first time, it asks you to do a little bit of setup. So it will ask you to set up a password. So we'll set a second space password. We'll say set. And I'm going to just set up a L. L. We'll draw the pattern again. Confirm. We'll say next and it will ask for the import photos. So you can go ahead and import photos as well. So this is taken up from the first space that your primary profile agree to it. And I'm going to just import this photo, say OK. And it imports, go next. You can import files if you wish. You can even import apps. I'm going to come back to this later. We'll say next and you're all set. Um, let's go back to the home screen. So this is how the second space profile looks like. Very simple, all the default apps are available. They're automatically shared between the first space and the second space. So yes, there's something we'll talk about now. So if I'm going to launch Play Store here, you'd see that it's going to ask me for creating a profile, uh, use a Google account basically, so that you know I can have my own Play Store. Now this is useful only if you want to have a business account, a business Gmail account separated and you have apps for your businesses and all, it will make a lot of sense. But it is not compulsory. I will show you why. Because let's say if you want to use your second profile for your kids, for them to play games and not access all your data, it can be useful. So I'm going to show you the move data app. What it does basically is move files from first space to second space and second space to first space. Now there's something called as app settings and it loads all the apps that you have on your primary profile. That's the first space. And if you want these apps to be available, become available in the second space also, you can go and select, let's say Facebook and say use in both spaces. I'm going to use in both spaces. So when you do that, you will see that you have a Facebook app available. And when you tap on it, it lets you login with a new account. So this is completely different. Now, mind you, there is a feature called as dual app, and I'm sure 
that MI UI is actually using that in the second space feature. So that's your answer about if you need a second account or is your primary account being used here. So it's all separate. Now I'm going to say move data and I'm going to show you another thing where it says import contacts. So if you want to import your contacts, which is on your primary space, that's the first space, you can actually go and import all of these contacts. It is as easy as that. Of course, you also have option to export photos from your first space to second space and so on. You can even export contacts if you have any and export files. You can even export your photos. This is a photo. I just imported, you can put it back and so on. Now that said, there's also another thing called as manage and it has got some few settings available. So you can see you have second space password that you can set, you can change it. Then you have notification shared shortcut. So basically if I draw this, by the way, this is the new notification bar and you have an option which says go to first space. So you can tap on this and go to first space. I'm going to show you that in a while. And then you have tap shortcut to switch option, show private messages. So if you have private messages it should show up on the screen, you have an option for that. Then you have move data is basically the same thing which we saw there. Then you have second space I can enable and you have option called as delete second space right from being in the second space. So that option is also available. What happens when you switch from here to there? Now I'm going to see if a couple of apps are already running. I'm going to show you this also that when you switch to first space, this is also retained. So I'm going to just switch and it asks me for the password of my first space. So I'm going to just do that. And I'm here. So you can see this is my first profile or the first space basically. And it also has an option of switch to second space. Now, if I'm going to show you the number of apps that is running here, you can see there are a lot of apps and these are different from the first space. So these are like two different things. They are two different profiles. They are two different user space. They are not merged together. And if I clear it, and then if I switch, it'll ask me for the password, of course. And here I am. So I'm going to come here. And if I see the status of my running apps, they are still running. So you can see it's completely two different user space. There are two different accounts that are managed. And of course, you can have all your apps from your first space to second space, even files and everything that is possible so that you don't have to really switch between them to access the files. This is very, very useful. You can even have notification from first space shown in the second space but they are hidden so when you tap on it you actually go there and then have a look at the notifications so guys this was the second space feature in miui 8.0 which is the most useful feature as of now and if you have a requirement where you want to use two profiles you should be using it so guys thanks for watching i hope you like the video do let us know if you have any questions around second space and if you want us to demonstrate anything that could be very very useful for you. Thanks for watching. Stay subscribed and hit the like button.